So welcome to Healing Path Yoga. Healing Path Yoga is all about connecting to our bodies in a kind and non-judgmental way. It's a way of looking at and releasing tension and pain in our body. It's a way of calming our minds and reconnecting to what yoga calls our true self, which is that peaceful, loving essence at our very core. So this morning, we're going to start with some standing postures or just some warm-ups as well as connecting to the breath. So I'll invite you to step onto your yoga mat. I'm going to take my computer up. And so you might want to take off your socks if you have them on so that you have that nice connection with the ground. I know we're all in our homes these days, so it's a little bit um, more difficult. You might have a carpeted surface. It's nice if you have a flatter surface to work on. I'm going to get this camera right so that you can, I don't think you can see my whole body. But I want you to be able to see my, my face. So taking a moment and with your feet about hip width apart and parallel. And so this yoga posture of mountain pose invites us into a sense of steadiness and a sense of feeling rooted and connected to the earth. So let's begin by taking a few cleansing breaths. So a cleansing breath is to breathe in deeply to your nose. Pause a moment, lungs full, and as you exhale, just let that breath out through your mouth. Feel your body settling. And take another deep breath in, breathing in, expand belly, rib cage up into your chest, pausing a moment, and then again, exhale. Feel your feet softening into the ground, roots growing into the earth. Last time on your own, breathing in, really savor and enjoy that breath. And as you exhale, just feel yourself beginning to land here on your mat in this space together. Connect to the natural rhythm of your breath. And perhaps this morning we'll connect to our belly breath, our lower breath. So just maybe bringing your hands to your lower belly. Take a few moments as you breathe in. Feel the belly gently expanding. And as you breathe out, feel the belly softening and releasing. And just this gentle movement the breath is a bridge between our body and our mind, between our outer world and our inner world, between a mind of distraction and a mind of calm focus. This is a good practice to do anytime you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed is to stand, feel your feet on the earth, feel the breath in your belly, just bring all of your awareness there. Then you can relax your arms by your sides. And bring your awareness down into your feet and feel the surface of your mat beneath your feet. Continue to stay connected to your breath. And just beginning to rock gently from side to side to shift your weight to the right foot and then the left foot. And if you can, synchronizing your breath as you move side to side as well. So inhaling one direction, exhaling the other direction. And so Rocking is one of the first movements we experience as a baby from the womb into our mother's arms. So it is a quite calming movement to make. Again, when we're feeling overwhelmed, just bring a sense to just 
feeling a gentle rocking movement in your body, whether you're standing or sitting. Soothes our nervous system. And then let yourself find your way back to center where the weight is evenly balanced between both feet. Take a deep centering breath, breathe all the way in, a nice spacious breath. And as you exhale, just that softening into your body, a softening into yourself. And now learning to coordinate movement and breath is a very important skill. Again, it connects us to the breath, but it also helps to make movement easier and more effortless. So we're going to start with very simple movements this morning. So start by turning your palms forward. Inhale, stretching your arms up and over your head. Reach up into the sky. Exhale, turn your palms down and releasing. It's like you have great big wings. Maybe we've all got angel wings this morning. Inhale, stretching up. Fill your lungs, pause a moment, and then exhale, releasing down. Just really feel into this whole movement from your hands to your arms to your shoulders, and then exhaling back down. Last time, inhale the arms up. This time, bend your elbows and place your hands on your shoulders. Now, if that's uncomfortable for your shoulders, maybe you have a shoulder injury, just take your hands to your rib cage. So there's some, some different modifications we can make. And begin to circle your elbows so that you feel a circling through the shoulder joints here. So we're just inviting some movement into the shoulder girdle, into the upper back. Notice how that feels. And again, you can use your breath. Inhale as the shoulders roll up. Exhale back and down. So we're always connecting back to the breath with movement. And then holding it there, and then we're going to release. We're going to inhale, stretch those arms out to the side. And as you exhale, bend and touch your shoulders again. Inhale, stretch up through your fingertips. Lift your chest. Here I am. Exhale, touching into your shoulders. Inhale, stretching out. Feel that lovely expansion from your heart center through your fingertips. Exhale, back. Last time, inhale, stretch those arms up. Let's hold an extra moment or two. And then turn your palms down. And as you exhale, float your arms back down to your side. shimmy and roll if you like, just starting to really feel and sense into your body. Now take your hands in front of you with the palms facing towards your thighs. You're going to inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. And as you exhale, bend your knees and imagine you're just melting like wax towards the ground. Just let your whole body release down if you can touch the floor with your fingers. And then inhale, press into your feet and you're coming all the way back up again, reaching up into the sky. And then exhale, I'm melting. Just let everything soften, let tension go, let your body be like a rag doll, head releases. Inhale, press into your feet, straighten the legs. Inhale, stretching up all the way. Exhale as you release and dissolve back down. Inhale, last time. All the way up, reach right through your fingertips and exhale, just releasing the arms back down. And 
again. Let's take a deep centering breath, inhaling deeply. Exhale, feel your feet rooted to the ground. Feel the breath in your belly. Just the breath as a source of life. Now another movement, inhale the arms in front of you with the palms facing in, and then exhale, releasing back down. Get used to this movement because we're going to add another one. Inhaling and exhaling. You're going to add a bend of our knees. So as you inhale, bend your knees and squat as if you're sitting in a chair. And then exhale, press into the ground and come back to standing. Inhale, squat. Knees are straight forward. Feet stay grounded. And exhaling. It's a slow, smooth, control movement with that nice, smooth breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Last time, inhale, bend the knees. And exhaling. Standing back in your mountain. Feeling the feet on the ground. And the breath flows freely. And so one last movement, we're going to practice the breath of joy. The breath of joy is quite a vigorous movement. It's done to wake us up, to bring a lot of energy into the body. It also helps to strengthen our lungs, which is really important during these times. I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see me. But it's inhaling the arms up and exhale as you bend your knees and go back. Inhaling up, exhale, bend. And it's in through the nose, out through the mouth, in out, in, out. So you can do it as vigorously as you like. Start to speed it up a little bit. Keep going. Feel your lungs. Feel how this is also a letting go breath. Good breath to do when we're feeling, again, overwhelmed, clears our mind, cleanses our body. Two more. And this is the best part, so just stand still for a moment and feel that renewed, sparkly energy, your heart rate, that sense of aliveness. Come back to the breath, come back to your feet, rooted to the earth. Wow, it's really windy outside. I don't know if you can hear the wind in my home. You might feel it in, or hear it in yours as well. So we're going to take it down onto our mats now. And we're going to explore this breath in a little bit more detail. So I'm going to invite you now to lie down on your mat with your knees bent. And if you like it, sometimes nice to have something for your head. I have a little half cushion here. You could use a pillow or even a folded blanket is nice. I'm just being in a really nice, comfortable, relaxed position to connect to the breath at a deeper level. Arms relax out to the sides. So we have this Shavasana arm, so the shoulders roll under, so you have lots of space in the chest. And feet are hip width apart. And the knees are bent. 
So reorient yourself to this new position, this new connection to the ground. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just invite the weight of your body to settle, to rest into the earth. Still be feeling the effects of the breath of joy, that renewed sense of vitality and energy. Just let your body and your breath begin to settle down. And connecting to your breath in kind and non-judgmental way. There's no right or wrong here. We're just focusing on feeling the breath as it is, not wanting to change it or make it bigger. Notice the quality of your breath. Is it short or long? Deep or slow, rough and choppy or smooth. And notice the phrasing of your breath. So the breath is like a phrase with the inhale, the opening, and that slight pause. And the exhale as the closing. So notice the difference between the inhale and the exhale. Noticing the slight pause in between. Breathe as you receive this source of light. Breath is a source of life within and without. The wind is a source of life. <laughs> and now, without trying too hard, you can explore just some different parts of the breath. So, you might want to. First, begin by placing your hands on your lower belly, just like we did when we were standing. And so connecting to what we call the lower part of the breath. Breathing into the weight of your hands. As you inhale, belly gently expands. As you breathe out, the belly softens and releases. Stay relaxed through the rest of your body, your shoulders, your face, your hips and your pelvis. Just be in touch with this rhythm of your breath. Nothing to achieve here, no goal, simply to Connect to this timeless movement of life and energy. The lower part of the breath helps to ground us. So when we're feeling overwhelmed and stressed out and distracted, to just bring our awareness to our lower breath. Begin to move a little bit higher. So move your hands and place them on the lower part of your rib cage. And your elbows are going to be out to the side. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed here. Again, see if you can feel the movement of breath beneath your hands. You breathe in, the rib cage lifts and spreads and expands. And as you breathe out, it softens 
again and release this. Feeling a breath in the front of the rib cage. Feeling the breath in the side of the rib cage. You can also feel the breath in the back of the rib cage, the pressure against the ground. A simple act of just paying attention to our breath helps to create more space. I'm moving into the upper part of our breath. You can either place your hands one on top of the other in the center of your chest or some people that might be more comfortable just to have the hands just above the breasts on the collarbones there. Again, let your elbows, your shoulders rest. Just breathe in, feel the chest gently rise. Just breathe out. Just release. Just let every breath be a sense of expansion and softening. So we carry a lot of tension in our body, both conscious and unconscious. And we carry a lot of tension in our breathing muscles. We quite often find ourselves holding our breath. So we allow the breath to flow. We allow each breath to soften and release. The exhale is that softening movement. Softening some of the constriction and armoring we wear. Now release both arms back down by your sides in Shavasana arms. And let's take a deeper cleansing breath now. So breathe in deeply through your nose, pausing a moment. And that long, slow exhale. Feel the weight of your body letting go. And feel the breath like a wave that connects all these parts of your breath from the belly to the rib cage to the chest, and from the chest to the rib cage to the belly. These parts of the breath aren't really separate. Be aware of the quality of your breathing now. It's probably slowed down, smoothed out. Perhaps it feels a little bit easier and effortless. And although there's lots of breathing techniques I can teach you and I will teach you, the most important one is simply to connect to your natural breath in a kind, and non-judgmental way. It will soothe and calm your nervous system. It helps us release tension and pain and anxiety. All right, so you might want to stretch your legs out now. And then inhale, stretch your arms up over your head. Oh, lovely deep breath again. Give those lungs lots of space. And as you exhale, bend and clasp your knees in towards each other. Take a little rock from side to side. Or maybe circle with the knees so you feel a circling movement in the lower back and towards the base of the spine. So you're gonna be feeling a sense of 
the weight on the sacrum. So the sacrum is the triangular bone that connects our hips or the pelvis in the back. And throughout this six week session, we're gonna be focusing on releasing the sacrum and the SI joints for more fluid movement. Quite often the sacrum can get quite locked up. So this next set of exercises are very subtle exercises that help us release both the hips and the sacrum. They help to isolate some of the different movements. So begin by releasing both feet down to the ground and then press into your feet for a moment and just lift the pelvis. Curl the tailbone up and then just set it down. It's a very subtle movement there just to release the sacrum. And now stretch both legs out along the ground. Relax your arms for a moment. And again, we wanna make sure that when we're doing these movements that we feel a real sense of relaxation. So the hips and the pelvis can move in all different directions. They can move up and down, they can move forwards and back, hips can externally rotate and internally rotate, and they can also, our pelvis can tilt forwards and back. So we're gonna be exploring uh, some of those different movements this morning. So with your legs extended out, and again, these are very subtle movements, and let's just place your hands on the front of your hips, the, the, the hip bones there. Reconnect to your breath. Feel the weight of your body on the ground. Now, you're gonna flex your right foot and just press out and slide it down. So that right hip moves down. And then you're gonna just bring it back to center, let it relax. And slide up a little bit so you can see. Now, left foot, flex the left foot, toes up. and. Push out through that left heel, slide it down, left hip moves down, and then release. We're gonna keep doing that from side to side, so press out through the right heel. Notice what that feels like, release. Press out through the left heel. So we kind of have the hips wiggling from side to side, moving up and down. Just bring up that movement, kind of a diagonal movement. And again, if it feels right, you want to match your breath to the movement. So inhale as you press out, exhale as you release. Last time. And then release your arms to the side for a moment. You may find that you want to hug the knees in for a moment, just release anything in the lower back. All right, next movement is internal and external rotation. So you're gonna start with the knees bent and the feet flat on the ground about hip width apart. So you can see my knees are directly over top of the ankles. You can slide your arms up a little tiny bit here. And as you inhale, just let that right knee just fall out to the side just as far as it wants to. And as you exhale, bring it back to center. Do the same on the left. Inhale, left knee falls out, and exhale. So try not to let your hips roll from side to side. It's purely hip stay in a nice neutral balance position. And it's just that opening of the right knee back to center, coming up through the left knee, back to center. So once you have the movement, then it's that sensing into the sensation. What are you feeling deep in the hip joint? What are you feeling in the inner thighs, the outer thighs? 
maybe even into the back. Keep the rest of the body relaxed and still. One more time each side. Relax your arms for a moment. Take a deep centering breath, a deeper breath. As you exhale, let the weight of your pelvis, your shoulders, your head settle. And now, keeping your knees bent, take your feet a little bit wider apart so they're mat width apart. This is kind of like our windshield wiper pose that we've done in the past, only you're not moving both knees at the same time. You're only going to be moving one knee at a time. So inhale the breath. As you exhale, let your right knee fall towards the left foot. And then inhale back to center. Let it release. Inhaling the breath. Exhale, left knee falls over. And inhaling back. Inhaling the breath, exhale, right knee releases. So again, paying attention to how this feels in your body. Beginning to tune into places where there might be imbalance. My left hip and left side is always tighter than my right side. We're just taking time to observe and learn about our body. You might find some strain or even pain on one side. If you find pain, then either make the movement smaller or don't do the movement at all. So really important to listen to your body. Last time. I'm going to go ahead and extend both legs along the ground for a moment. And come back to this posture of Shavasana. Feel the weight of your body against the ground. Take a deep centering breath all the way in. All the way out. You may or may not notice more freedom or more spaciousness in your hips. Yeah, it takes time for our bodies to release. We're going to do one more movement this morning with our knees bent. Feet flat. We're going to be focusing on a pelvic tilt. So we should have the capacity to either tilt our pelvis forwards or tilt it back. And we can do that in lots of different positions. So just to begin with, Come into your normal, natural breath in your belly. Inhale, the belly expands. Exhale as the belly releases. Now we're going to exaggerate that movement. You're going to inhale, expand the belly, and the lower back lifts a little bit. As you exhale, belly presses towards the belly button, and the lower back flattens. Tailbone tips up. Inhale, belly expands, there's space in the lower back. Exhale, lower back flattens. So you have this rocking movement through your hips and your pelvis. And this is a really important functional movement that we need throughout our life, is this ability to release the pelvis forwards and backwards. It helps in all our movements from walking to sitting, anything that we do. Last time, inhaling and exhaling. Yes. You might want to just give a little hug in of your knees here. Little rock, little massage.
and then roll over onto your side and help yourself up to a seated position. So you probably want something to sit on. I have my little half cushion here. Something firm is good. Um, and if you're not comfortable sitting on the floor, you can also sit in a chair. Please make sure if you're sitting in a chair that you're sitting in uh, on a, a, a straight back chair, like a dining room chair. But we're going to be coming into a pose, um, it's kind of a variation of bound angle, where the soles of your feet are together. You can't quite see me, but you want to have a diamond shape between your legs here and you might release the flesh from around your sit bones and the other thing you might notice if you have pain or strain in your knees or in your hips please use a block or something to help support your legs here so i'm just going to place these blocks here and then place your fingertips on the ground. Let's take a moment just to really allow ourselves now to arrive in this new posture. Feeling balance between the right and left sit bones. And sitting tall, so be careful. Sometimes when we sit on the ground, it's easy to kind of cave in and slouch, but we want to maintain that nice tall spine. If that's not happening in your body, either use a taller cushion or please do sit in a chair. So because we want to avoid slouching, so please sit tall. Again, feel the breath. Feel the breath in your belly. Feel the breath in your rib cage. Feel the breath in the chest and the heart center, that beautiful wave of breath that connects us to the wave of life. So we just explored the pelvic tilt in a lying down position. Now let's see if we can find it in a seated position. So as you inhale, expand your belly, the front of your hips press forward and you're lifting the chest and looking up. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, and it is kind of a little bit of a slouch. But we're not staying there long. Inhale, belly expands, we're looking up. Exhale, tailbone tucks under. Now make sure it's not just the upper body. You really want to make sure that the whole pelvis is moving here. So I'm going to show it from the side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, and you can take your hands to your shins or your knees if you like here. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale as you release. And once we get that movement going, let's see if we can add a little bit of arm movement here. So as you inhale, stretching one arm up. And as you exhale, Letting it flow down, rounding. Inhale, extend up through the left side. Exhale. When I do this pose, I kind of have this image of seaweed in the ocean. So you can imagine that you're a piece of seaweed just lazily floating up and down on the wave of your breath. Remember to keep the movement going through the hips and the pelvis here as well. And last time, inhale, let's stretch both arms up and really reach up tall here. Let's take a few breaths here. Let that breath expand into the side body, right up into your armpits. Famous yoga teacher BKS Iyengar always says, you cannot be depressed when your armpits are open. So feel this sense of joyfulness reaching up into the sky this morning. Take one last breath. 
And as you exhale, releasing back down. Oh, nice. And then you can bring your knees back up. And just as a way, when we do hip openers, of course that was a hip opener, it's good to release them by doing our some version of windshield wiper pose. So just lean, and you might want to come off your cushion now for that. Lean back. And then your feet are nice and wide apart, wider than hip width apart. And then it's that crazy knees from side to side. So just releasing side to side with your breath, inhaling one direction, exhaling the other direction. Good. And then finally, just before we move into our practice of yoga nidra, your knees bent, maybe feet about hip width apart. And now just let your body and your back go. Let the back round and release. Breathe into the back body. Feel the breath in the lower back, in the middle back. In the upper back and your shoulders. Let your head go, your chin releases towards your chest. Feel the breath in your belly against your thighs. Be in this moment exactly as it is. Loving yourself. Cherishing yourself. And you can start to release. So this practice of yoga nidra, this practice of lying down meditation is a practice of self-care. And I think it's such, it's the most important practice we need right now with all the stress of the pandemic and everything else that is happening south of the border and around the world. So yoga nidra is this practice and I want you to remember three words. And this comes from Karen Grody in her book, Daring to Rest. The first thing that we absolutely need is to rest our physical body, to release the fatigue and the tiredness and the constriction in our physical bodies. And so we just lie down and we're guided through this practice of releasing every single muscle in our body. And then the second word is release. So it's not only our physical body that keeps us constricted, but it is our mind. A lot of us live in this cage of our mind with all of these worries and projections and anxiety. So Yoga Nidra also shows us how to begin to release ourselves from the prison of our minds so that we can be in this more spacious and open place and be with what is, to be with the difficulties that we're encountering through these moments of time. It creates a safe container for us to feel our feelings, to acknowledge what wants to be felt, and then let it go. And finally, as we get through all these different layers of being, we encounter that true self that I talked about, that true nature that's peaceful and loving at our very essence, that part of ourself that is beyond our personality. And so I invite you now, and we can, we can rise up. So the third word is rise. We rise up from this place of peaceful awareness. We connect to that deep inner 
wisdom within us that knows what to do, that comes up with creative ways of dealing with the world as it is. And so it's rest, release, and then rise. So let's experience this practice of yoga nidra. So it's done in a lying down position usually. You're in your own home though, so if you wish to do it, if you have a nice comfy easy chair you want to do, if that's more comfortable than lying on the ground, I invite you to do that. A few pointers that it's nice to have either a cushion or maybe a pillow from your bed behind your knees. It's also nice to have a cushion for your head as well. You need lots of stuff to be comfortable here. Also, the body loses a lot of heat in this practice. It withdraws to its center, just like our mind does. So we might find especially that our outer extremities get cold, our feet or our hands. So it's good to cover yourself with a nice heavy blanket So it's kind of like going back to nursery school or kindergarten. You take this like mini nap. Although the intention for yoga nidra is to fall awake instead of fall asleep. But quite often, especially if we're quite physically fatigued, we will fall asleep. And that's absolutely fine. We need, it just means that we need that rest. So please, no feelings of judgment there. So lying back. And your feet are about keep width apart and let your feet fall up gently from the ankles. And again, that rolling out of the shoulders. So I'm going to keep my arms outside the blanket for now. You might want to have them in. But it's extending your arms to the side, pressing your elbows into the ground beneath you. And lift the chest, roll the shoulders under so that the shoulder blades feel like they can lie a little bit flatter. Traditionally, we keep our palms up in Shavasana, but sometimes that might not be comfortable for your shoulders, so feel free to put your palms down. Or sometimes if you have a shoulder injury, it's nice to just rest the hands on the body, and sometimes that's quite comforting anyways. So please, give yourself permission to just be comfortable. The head is in line with the spine and you might want to slightly tuck your chin in so the back of the neck stays nice and long. And so just feel that sense of your body, the whole weight of your body. Give it up to the ground, to the earth. And trust that indeed we are supported and nourished by Mother Earth beneath us. Take a few cleansing breaths, inhaling deeply and exhale. Feel your bones, your muscles, your skin releasing. And connect into that beautiful rhythm of your own breath. Know that that rhythm of your own breath connects you to the rhythm, the ocean, the planet, the stars, the very source of life itself. Just this conscious way of breathing. Be aware of your in-breath. Be aware of your out-breath. Not trying to change anything. Tune into the journey of your breath from the breath in through the nostrils, back through the throat, down into the chest, the lungs, the belly, and all the way back out again. Yeah, 
and feeling the in-breath all the way in, the out-breath all the way out. And so the breathing becomes an anchor for us. We know that we can always come back to the breath, no matter what's going on in our practice, no matter what's going on in our life. Continue to feel the weight of your body sinking into the earth, the weight of your head, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the back, so the weight of your hips and your pelvis, all the way down to your legs and your feet. And then feel into the front of your body as it opens into the space above you. And be aware of your face, your beautiful face. Feel the delicate skin of your eyelids coming together with your eyes closed. Perhaps moisten your lips. So the mouth can relax into a gentle smile. Relax any tension in your jaw. And feel the touch of your clothing against your skin. In this practice, we learn to pay attention to more subtle sensations Sensations we usually wouldn't pay attention to. Sensations we're usually too busy to pay attention to. Feel the air on your skin, the air around you. Continuing to feel your breath. And in this practice, we create an intention and we make it very simple. And we state it in the present moment. So take a moment and bring your awareness to your heart center, feeling and breathing and sensing there. And ask yourself, what is my deepest desire, my deepest longing? for my life. It's usually something simple, one word, to love, to be kind, to relax. To heal. And then we turn that one word into an I am phrase. So I am loved or I am loving. I am kind. I am safe. I am whole. Whatever your word is. State that intention three times silently in your own mind. Plant this intention deep in the soil of your body, mind, consciousness. And so after planting our intention, we move into what's called the rotation of consciousness by bringing awareness to almost every single part of our body. 
And this morning we're going to start in our belly again. Just come back to that feeling of the breath in your abdomen. We'll also use the image of a flower. So imagine a flower in your abdomen. Whatever flower you like, whether it's a rose or a tulip, a daffodil, a lotus. So first, there's just the flower bud, and then as we bring the light, just like the sun, bring the light of your awareness to that flower in your abdomen. Imagine that flower slowly beginning to unfurl its petals and open. And we know that a flower cannot be forced to open. It's just that gentle nudging light of the sun, the sun of your own awareness. You breathe, just softening, releasing any constriction or tension in the flower of your belly. Now place that flower a little bit higher now in the solar plexus area the center of your lower rib cage. And again, just noticing what does it feel like to breathe here now? Imagine the flower gently unfurling its petals, opening to the light of your own care and attention. No force, no strain. Simply allowing the breath and your awareness to work its magic. Now that flower moves up into your heart center, that very tender, protected place. The flower of your heart. And again, with the utmost care, breathing into your heart center. the light of your awareness gently dissolve layers of tension and busyness, of fear, of worry. Extending the utmost love and kindness to the flower in your heart. Let your awareness embrace the breath as a whole, as it moves throughout your belly and your rib cage, up into your chest and your heart center. Each wave of breath creating a little bit more space and healing. Bring awareness now into your throat. We can be quite constricted in our throat. You might want to swallow to relax any tension in your throat. Imagine releasing any unspoken words or thoughts. Let them go. the neck be a clear pathway between the wisdom of your heart and the knowing of your mind. And 
and bring awareness to the feeling at the center of your skull. And this, can, of course, can be quite a busy place, our brain, all the wonderful ways it has of thinking. We thank our brain for all of the thinking it does, but for now we invite it to be quiet. We just invite that flower into the center of our head, imagining the flower of awareness, slowly opening to the light, the sun. Continuing to feel your breath. Bring awareness now to your mouth. Relaxing any tension in the mouth and the jaw. And feel inside the mouth. Notice what the tongue might be doing. Is it holding or can you relax the tongue? It's nice to relax it just towards the roof of the mouth, just behind the front teeth. Kind of nestles in there. Feel the breath in and out through the nostrils, creating space up through the sinuses. Bring awareness to your eyes. You may be aware of the play of light or images against your eyelids. Inhaling the gentle breath and as you exhale, Invite the eyes to relax back into the head, away from outer images. Soften the lines of your forehead. Invite the whole face to be soft and smooth. Bring awareness now to your ears. And just listen for a moment. In Lethbridge, we can hear the wind outside this morning. Just acknowledge those outer sounds. And inhaling the breath, and as you exhale, imagine moving inwards through the inner ear canals, away from the outer distraction of sounds. Bring awareness to the sides of your head, the top of the scalp, and the back of the skull. Invite your head to rest deeply into the cushion or the ground that you're lying on. <coughs> Continue to feel your breath. Bring awareness to the base of your skull now. Let that soften and release. Down through the back of the neck. Let awareness spread across to the shoulders now. We're carrying a lot of weight in our shoulders these days. So as you breathe out, what can you release from your shoulders? Tension, worry, responsibility. Let the weight continue to release down through the upper arms. Now the elbows. The forearms. And the wrists. Feel and sense into your hands. The hands can hold a lot of tension. They hold a lot of tasks. So 
perhaps just inhale and spread your fingers out a little bit. And as you exhale, allow your fingers to soften, just like the petals of a flower. You might imagine you're holding a flower in both hands. Sensing the breath in the front of the body. Sensing up into your head, your shoulders, your arms, your hands. Moving your awareness now into the back of the body. Starting with the upper back, invite the upper back to soften. The shoulder blades to lie a little bit more deeply to settle. Can you feel the breath between the shoulder blades, behind the heart center? Going down into the mid-back area, releasing any tension in the middle part of the back. Now down into the lower back. As you breathe out, let there be that softening. And follow the feeling of the lower back all the way down the spine to the delta of the sacrum, the triangular bone we talked about earlier. Right down to the base of the spine. And expanding out to the back of the pelvis, soften your buttocks. Going deep into the hip sockets. Let each breath create a little bit more space in your hips and let each out breath release any of the muscular tension or holding. Tune into the natural flow of breath throughout the hips and the pelvis. It's helpful. You can continue to work with the image of the flower, gently opening and releasing the sunlight of your awareness. As we release tension throughout the pelvic area and the hips, you might actually begin to feel the freedom of movement, the slight rocking movement of the hips and the pelvis as if you were floating on the surface of water. Allow that feeling of release to flow down through your legs, the thighs, the knees, can you soften the space behind your knees? Can you soften down into the calf muscles and the shins, the ankles? Now down into your feet, feel the skin on the tops of your feet. Feel the skin on the bottom soles of your feet. Feel each of your toes like the petals of a flower. And now bring awareness to feeling the body 
as a whole and not just its separate parts. Feel the whole body being breathed. Feel the whole body releasing deeply into the arms of Mother Earth. You might now imagine that your whole body is a garden of flowers, a field of flowers. All opening to the light of the sun and the light of your own awareness. Let yourself be completely held in this moment. Watered and sustained and nurtured by the very source of life itself. Being relaxed and at ease, resting deeply. Allow the sound of the singing bowl to gently vibrate all through your being. Feel back into the solidness of the earth supporting you. Notice how soft and subtle your breath has become. And 
And consciously begin to deepen your breath as a way of beginning to awaken. Although being in your own home, you might want to just stay relaxed. That's fine too. But taking your time, begin to invite gentle movement. Maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes and delighting in those smaller movements. And listening to what feels right for you. Perhaps there's another longer, luxurious stretch you want to take. So go ahead and begin to move and stretch in whatever way feels good. Remembering it's important to transition slowly. So maybe rolling over onto your side first before you come up to seated. So if you're sitting, just taking a moment to reorient to the ground beneath you, the sky above, you might actually imagine that your spine is like the stem of a flower and you have that beautiful blossom, at the very crown of your head. My teacher Thich Nhat Hanh says, we are all flowers in the garden of humanity. So take a moment and feel your flowerness, your beauty, your just beingness of a flower. And we know that there are many different varieties of flower and one is not more beautiful than the other. And so we all just share our unique flower of who we are. And so take your flower and let it blossom into the world today. Thank you for being here and I honor the light that you are. Namaste.